property investment hack that will make you 39,000 pounds a year. So as you can see here, what you want to do, we want to go and find a city, a city like Liverpool. Liverpool is one of the most attractive cities in the UK. So um, what we're going to do when we, when we know we want to go into Liverpool, we want to look for the prominent location in Liverpool. So in this example, we're going to take Liverpool Lime Street. So we, we're going to scroll down and copy the postcode. Once we've copied the postcode, we are now going to go to Gumtree. Gumtree is one of the biggest platforms you can go and contact direct landlords directly in order to take on their property. Obviously, we're going to filter it and then we're going to change um, England into the postcode that we are interested in. We paste the postcode there and then we hit search, we update it. And then obviously now we're now going to filter to the locations that we're interested in and the type of properties that we're interested in. So the first thing we're going to do is to check the property type. The property type is going to be house. We change that to house. And then we're looking for minimum of four bedroom or five bedroom plus. So in this example, we're going to use five bedrooms. And then we hit the search button and then we get this, re we get this results. And then what we're now going to do is to go through and look for the property that is most reasonable that we know we can negotiate with the landlord to be able to secure their property. So you can see here this six bedroom house in Quimbyland is a very good property. It's a 2,400 pounds. It looks like it's got nice pictures that we can go and add a bit of value on. We read the description, looks like something that we are interested in. And we may be able to negotiate because the landlord is asking for 2,400 pounds. So what we then do before we even analyze it, we're gonna send the landlord an email to let them know we are interested in their properties because you're, you are very clever you would have had a template saved somewhere in your notes so you copy that template we then go to the message section and then we're going to paste that there so we're going to update our number so once we update our number we then paste the message there maybe um, we would delete this message because we have taken out the number so we're now going to paste our new message um, here's the message my name is Rahim a working professional I'm interested in renting your house long term I am wondering if your house is still available if it is available I'd love to come down and view it I am available tomorrow at 3 p.m. please let please let me know um, uh, here's my number 07 blah 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 I look forward to meeting with you and then what you do you send that message to the landlord so once you send the message to the landlord obviously you, have, you want to be proactive here so you can analyze the deal to see what you may be able to offer the landlord first what we need to do basically is to go and search for the property online we might not be able to search for the exact property but what we will do we will take the name of the road we take the name of the road of the property and then we then go into search randomly so we can get the random postcode on that road that we'll be able to use as our postcode so what we then do we're going to copy that postcode once we've copied that postcode we are going to go to a platform called spare room and spare room is one of the biggest platforms that rent houses per room in the entire uk so we search for the property we look how much bedrooms are being rented in that investment area so you can see this beginning here the first bedroom is renting for 595 pounds a very good return so we keep going down we've got 580 we have 680 per bedroom we have 550 to 585 per bedroom so we now know we may be able to rent this property at between 550 to about 600 pounds so obviously we are now going to analyze the property deal we need to remind ourselves how much the landlord is charging we now know we're able to rent that property for for 550 times that by six bedrooms that gives us 3600 pounds gross rental income so we're going to go and negotiate with the landlord obviously because obviously his rent include bills so we want to go and close the landlord at a 1,900 pounds so with 1,900 pounds taking off our gross rental income that gives us 1,400 pounds then from that 1,400 pounds we deduct 750 once we deduct the 750 and then 650 would be our profit for that property so if you times that by 12 it's 7,800 pounds every single year in a property that you don't even own so imagine you have Five of these properties you're talking about thirty nine thousand pounds a year in the properties you don't even own if you like this video or any of my videos smash the like button below subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos i look forward to sharing the next one thank you